Soyuz brings three astronauts to the ISS, now on K News. Hi, Lucas here. Welcome to K News for week 29, 2017, and a big thank you to all my K News boosters on Patreon. Soyuz is scheduled to launch on July 28th at 1541 UTC from Baikanur in Kazakhstan. On top of the rocket behind a fairing is the Soyuz MS-05 spacecraft, which harbors the astronauts from Expedition 52. The Russian launcher is 50 meter long and has 2.5 stages. This means there is one upper stage and a first one, which consists of a core and four strap-on boosters. These boosters and the core ignite at the same time, but the strap-ons are separated first, which is considered half a stage. This configuration allows the Soyuz rocket to bring round about 7000 kg to a low Earth orbit, which is used up completely by the spacecraft. After liftoff from the northern hemisphere, the rocket will fly east, but because the planet's surface is curved, it will drop to the south naturally, without having to steer. A stable orbit is only possible if the plane enclosed by the trajectory goes right through the center of the orbited celestial body. However, there are some exceptions resulting from weird orbital mechanics, which for example allow so-called halo orbits. I will make a video about these mysterious exceptions hopefully by the end of the week, so stay tuned for that. You will find the link to that in the description once it's done, or simply subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. <laughs> Now back at Soyuz, its destination is the International Space Station, which is continuously occupied by international astronauts for almost two decades now. On board the spacecraft are Sergei Rizansky for Russia, Paolo Nespoli for Italia, and Randy Bresnik for the US. Sergei is 42 years old and has spent 166 days in space so far. He's a biochemist whose career began as a researcher at the Institute for Biomedical Problems in Russia and he also participated in the Mars 500 isolation experiment. There he spent 105 days in a Martian mock-up base to study and prepare for long-term missions to the Red Planet or other places where living in small spaces is required for a relatively long period of time. His Italian crewmate Paolo Nespoli is 60, wow, and spent 174 days in space already. He has a military background as a parachutist and jump master. What is that you might ask? Well, a jump master knows how to jump obviously. Jokes aside, people like him train soldiers to jump off planes and land safely without breaking their feet. Military operation parachutes are not gliders and these people drop on the ground frighteningly fast. Paolo's career in space began 20 years ago when he was selected by the Italian Space Agency. Last but not least there is Randolph Bresnik, a 49 year old marine. He spent only 10 days in space so far which was on a space shuttle mission 10 years ago. He is one of those guys who built the ISS and I bet he will be really happy to take command of the station as part of Expedition 53 in 3 months from now. Just by the way, Randolph was born in Fort Knox, Kentucky, where the USA keeps its gold reserves in one of the best protected buildings on the planet. However, he moved to California rather early where he achieved degrees in mathematics and aviation. Besides humans, there will also be some cargo like food, breathable air and experiments. Once Soyuz catches up with the station on a lower orbit, it will hopefully dock to it safely and the crew of three will then join the others on their mission in space. Ok, that's it for this episode and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.